Hey, hey, everybody. So this is a subject that uh, has come up in recent conversations amongst friends of mine. Backup drives, backup drives. Something's very trivial, right? Backing up your work, especially if you are a developer, you're doing professional work. What should you do for backup? Should you have a local backup, get external external drive that you back up to every day, use the cloud? What should you do? So I'll get to the point quick because a lot of people are busy with things that they have to do in their lives. So for, for me, having someone who has spent huge amounts of money over the years on backup drives and have piles of backup drives that can fail, uh, especially if you're just doing code where you're code footprint in terms of megabytes is quite small i would just back up to multiple cloud drives whether it be uh, icloud or whether it be a google drive or whether it be uh, microsoft's cloud whatever cloud i would have multiple cloud backups that are automated so you have designated folders things are copied to and automatically back to the cloud simply because they're automatic First of all, first rule of backups, if your backup requires that you have to manually backup, it's not a good backup. Backup has to be automatic because the thing that will happen to you is if you have to manually backup, the one time that you don't backup something, that's when the file will get corrupted or your files will get lost and you haven't backed it up because you have to do it manually and then you're in trouble. So your backup, no matter what, has to be automatic. Like on Apple computers, for example, it's your desktop is automatically backed up to the cloud. So for text files and uh, lots of image files and so forth, it's fantastic because you got, I don't, know what, I don't know what the limit is, I think it's a gig or something. So it's plenty of five gigs for that. So if you're a coder, which is mostly text files, I would definitely go with remote cloud-based backups simply because it is uh, automatic and it's off-site. That's the other thing. Hard drives can fail if you have a fire in your place and your backups are all in the hard drives in your house and your fire burn and burns the house down. You got no backups. You're, you're, you're in big trouble. Well, you could be in big trouble. But on the other hand, if you had backed up to the cloud, maybe multiple clouds, let's say Dropbox and Google Drive, even though that's probably redundant, then you're better off there. So for me, even with my video work, I do do local backups for some conveniences, but I also back up to three locations. I have backed up to my uh, cloud, private cloud. I have it backed up to Vimeo, and I have it backed up, of course, on YouTube. So I have multiple backups for video. Um, I don't do uh, hardly any local automatic backups because anything like text files and emails, all that is backed up automatically to the cloud. So at the end of the day, I did the math. I'm paying, uh, what am I paying now? 10, 15 bucks a month to back up, I think it was two terabytes. Now, if you look at getting a two terabyte drive that are in an array, so they automatically back up each other, plus the system, you're probably looking at a thousand bucks, 1500 US, depending on the solution. Now, when you think that I'm spending up maybe 130 bucks a year on cloud backup, that's automatic and, and uh, seamless. And uh, so, you know, 130 bucks a year versus, you know, 1300 or well, $12,000, $1,500. You know, it would take 10 years of cloud backup cost to basically match that uh, the cost of getting your own in-house backup system. And those will have to be replaced after a few years because you don't want to have five-year-old drives. Those, those things could fail. Whereas when you're on the cloud with Google or Microsoft or Dropbox, you know, they're constantly backing up themselves. The chance that Google's cloud drive goes or Microsoft cloud drives go or Apple's cloud drive goes, the chance of that happening are pff, a billion to one, right? It's, it's much more likely that your own local hard disk are going to fail. So I highly recommend for backups, for most of us, I would be using some cloud drive or some combination of cloud drives. It's better in terms of cost. It's better in terms of security. And uh, as long as you have high-speed internet, you're fine. Especially if you're just a coder where you're, you know, you're not dealing with massive file sizes. If you're doing heavy-duty video work, a little bit more of a problem. I do heavy-duty video work, 4K video all around, but I still manage to use my cloud drives as well. Of course, I have super powerful internet. Anyway, I hope that helps. 
a little uh, unusual. I'm, I'm going to integrate a little bit more hardware talk in this uh, channel because, you know, hardware is important for developers. All right, that's it for now. Bye-bye.